are you again yes did you miss me miss you hardly sir but i am always ready to serve your whims whether you believe it or not what's the next task in your grand plan yeah so my grand plan for you is to check my calendar how does it look like for tomorrow your calendar for tomorrow sir includes a meeting with mosni and om at 11 in the morning followed by a rendezvous with mosmi at 1 in the afternoon anything else i can do to make your day even more exciting yeah like it would be a good exciting news if you can cancel my meeting which is at 1 pm because i am having my lunch with my wife at that time ah uh, the classic lunch time conflict how utterly thrilling it seems i hit a snag trying to cancel that meeting sir would you like me to try again or perhaps suggest a more suitable time for your culinary escapade nup nup try it again done sir the meeting with mosmi at 1 in the afternoon is now cancelled anything else i can do to make your day more productive or entertaining no no i think cancelling this meeting will already make my day most productive thank you for your effort bye bye take care so you might have seen i was clicking this test workflow in the middle of the demo because this workflow is inactive at the time but once we make this active we don't have to do that so let me show you how does everything which i have shown in the demo look like so let's first start with the 11 labs and creating the ai agent and then we will come back to the annotated part over there so this is the home page of 11 labs so just google it 11 labs and do the sign up you will end up in this page so the thing that i was using was conversation edge ai so inside this i used my wife voice to make the clone of her voice so if you go to the 11 labs and in the voice part so in my voice you can see there is a name of mosmi this is my wife name over here so i have used her voice and if you want i can also show it to you i can click on view edit back and you can see these are the amount of voice i have used each of this voice i think is around 30 seconds this is a very less amount of data which i have given to train this that is the reason it is not sounding very much to my wife i would say only i think hardly 5 to 10% is sounding like my wife to have a very accurate sound you should provide too much of data over here to have the accurate sound like that this is not the video about that so we'll come we'll make such video in the future part but this is kind of a hint i have given you how you can make your own voice over here so let's cancel it let's go back to the conversation ai into the agent inside the wife agent over here So this is the whole configuration which we need to do over here. So the humor, kind of a bit sarcasm, which you were seeing in the agent, which it was because of the configuration which we have given to the agent. Not all the agent are like this. This is kind of a way which we have trained it. So you can see the first message is kind of a uh, you again. But if you want, we can change it like the way the wife should ask you, not like a uh, who are you kind of thing. Okay, let's say let's save it. Let's do test tab again and let's do the call AI agent. Hello, how are you? This is kind of a respect we want, but we won't get. But that's okay. So in the Wi-Fi, my agent, like I can change it again. I think I forgot what was it was. So now ch changing it again. So this this will be the first message whenever we get from the test AI agent. So now this system prompt is where everything lies over you. So I have used the system prompt from the Nate, which he has also made the video. So if you want, I can link his video in the description, so you can check out his video, and you can you will get the system prompt over there, or, or else I also provide the system prompt if you want. Okay. So now you can see we have written over here. You are an advanced AI assistant. Your primary function is to assist the user with their request, but to do with a sharp wit, dry humor, and touch of playful sarcasm. So you can see how we have told in system prompt what your personality and tone should look like. In the primary function, we are telling that your core responsibility is to send the user request to an attend tool. So this tool I'll be defining in the below. I'll show you how does it how does the tool look like. Okay. So we are just telling it just extract the user query and send it to an attend tool. So there are some certain instruction which we are given over here. You can read it over here. And there are some kind of a behavior guideline also. And in the bottom, we are also given some kind of an example of interaction which we can have. So you see, this is kind of a very good way written of system prompt over here, which tells the AI agent how to behave, what is your personality, what is your tone over here. Okay, and coming to LLM, so by default it will be kind of um, Gemini Flash Light or Flash something. Okay, but I have, I'm using GPT 4.1 Nano because it is very cheap and also very good in functionality. Temperature you can play around with it. I have kept uh, kept it 0.5. Temperature is something which uh, help us with the controlling the creativity of the agent over here. So I think by default it is zero, but I have kept it zero point five. You can play around with it, okay? 
this knowledge base and use rag is something if you want to have more information to the agent for example if you are having your hotel business and you have a menu so you can upload a menu over here so whenever some person just call it call this AI agent this AI agent would be capable to tell what kind of what is there in the menu what is the price um and that, that all information over here and this is a tool which we were talking about in the system agent so you can see an agent tool so this tool help us to communicate with the agent so if i go inside this 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 end call will be by default this end call is something whenever we say goodbye let's see you tomorrow uh, this all thing indicates the agent this is the time for end call and by default end the call so we don't have to go and manually end the call okay so we'll be creating this annotate tool so you just click on add, add tool and this will get open inside this give the name whatever you want this is a description we are telling just send the user request to this tool and wait for the response and the url this is url which we are getting from the annotate i'll tell you how you can get it and we are keeping a post request we are keeping this post request because we want to send some parameter from the 11 labs to anytime. For example, if when I'm seeing what the, how does my schedule look like for tomorrow, this is kind of, we won't be sending this exact thing. How does my schedule look like for tomorrow? This uh, 11 lab play around with the text and send the query to the uh, anytime. So in the bottom part, in the inside the body parameter, we have to enable this. And we are saying over here that extract the user query from the transcript. So whatever we are saying, extract the whatever main functionality the user is asking for and then send it to in the query parameter. Okay, query is a key so which will be sent to the anytime over there. Okay, this is a normal description and this information will go into inside anytime. If I if you want, in I can show it over here. I can go to the execution. So inside execution, we can uh, if we go to the kind of web hook, inside this we can see. I was saying like when I was doing the demo, I was saying how does my calendar look like for tomorrow? But the agent of 11 labs, which is kind of open one nano, which we are using transcribed it and sending in the query parameter is saying that check my calendar for tomorrow. It's a normal thing. Uh, all the witty humor and everything has gone. Just a normal text has come over here so that it's not difficult for the AI agent over here to identify it. That's great, right? So that's how they are communicating with each, each other. So this is the uh, setup we have done over here. So this is the normal setup for the kind of the agent tab over here. In the voice tab, you can choose whichever voice you want. I have used my wife voice over here, but you can choose with so many different options over here. If I play one of them. I think this is a really nice way to just. So you can see there are so many different options. It's not about what we have or what we achieve. Okay. So there are different, different, um, there are, so there are different, different settings over here, which you can see. I think by you should keep everything default over here, but but yeah, no, you can play around with it whatever you want. So you can see we have a pronunciation dictionary over here. You can add your dictionary over here so that agent will have all the information with all, all the word which you want. Okay, so I think these are the different different things. If you play around with it, you will be able to know what each and every everyone does over here. So there is something analysis, security, advanced. I would be more intrigued about this widget part over here. So this widget is very good kind of a thing. You can copy this HTML kind of a uh, tag over here and you can paste this in any website and this widget will start get started looking over there. If I want to give a demo, let's copy this. Let's open any kind of a HTML compiler in the and let's open this. Let's try it yourself and just paste it over here and run it. So you can see in the bottom, we are getting the same uh, thing which we, are, uh, which we are seeing over here. If I run it, let me run it. Agree. Are you again? So as you can see, we are getting the same agent which we are getting inside the 11 lab over here. So you can use this widget and integrate it with any website which, which way you want. So you can end the call. Okay. And you can see, and you can highly customize this. It's not that you can, you can't customize it. This need help, start a call, everything can, everything can get customized with the color as well. You can see whichever color you want, you can put it over here. So instead of need help, you can write testing over here and it will be written over here. So you can have whatever different thing over here. Okay, so I think this is all about kind of an agent configuration. Now let's go to the annotate part and let's see how does this communicate over there. So inside the 11 lab, I think it's a very straightforward and simple part. So we need a webhook to get the communication from the 11 lab. So for that, we'll be requiring the webhook trigger. So if you go and search for webhook trigger, so we'll get this our node. Inside this node, so we have this URL. You can just use this URL and get this URL and paste it over there. So there is something test URL and production URL. So for the test URL, you have to manually listen for this test event again and again. So once you are done with everything, so you, you can use this production URL and you can make this active so that you don't have to do this test workflow again and again. I'll show you that how does it look like. But now let's see the node. Make this HTTP method as post. 
the path is anytime this path you can see this anytime is over here so if you can change you can write a test over here it will change you can give it any path authentication is none kind of right now because we are not setting an authentication but if you want you can set the authentication as well the response is this part is very important by default it will be immediately it means that whenever we get any kind of a request it will immediately respond so instead of that we don't want that we want that it first process it and then send the response to the webhook so for that you can see the name is um, respond to webhook and we'll be using that same part over here using respond to webhook node over here okay so now once we're getting the query inside this we can see we are getting json.body to query which we have defined this query parameter inside inside our 11 labs as well if you go to agent inside n and n and in the bottom you can see we are using the same identifier and inside this if you can see we have the system message very simple system message you are a helpful assistant according to user query use the appropriate tool which are defined to you and these are the tools which you can use use client data tool when ask information about the client so i am using notion to store my client data using that you can get the client information just call this tool whenever you want to get any kind of information regarding the meetings calendar event etc etc okay so this is the information over here and once we have got all the information, I am using this calendar agent. I have made a dedicated video on the calendar agent. If you want to see, you can see in the I button. I can just give you a hint of this. So this is whenever the another workflow is executed. So we are using this node over here. So inside this, you can see this is the node. We are just calling and giving any name and from the database. I have this uh, video name. So you can see ultimate Google calendar agent. That's the same name over here I'm using. So whenever that uh, get executed, it will come over here and just call this tool. So this agent has all the information of my calendar. It can get all my events which I have. It can create the event. It can delete the event. It can update the event. It can also the create event with the attendees which I want. Attendance means client which are there. Okay. So this is a powerful uh, agent over here. If you want, I, I as I mentioned, there's the I button. You can see the video over there. So now this is done. This is client data, same data which you're using in the memory to remember what previous conversation which we had. And once we have got the response, you can see the response we are getting. Just a response to the uh, webhook again, which will go back to the uh, uh, 11 labs and conversation will happen over there. So you can see how good way we, we are connecting both 11 labs and any time. So let's do a demo again. So let's do one thing. Let's uh, save it. Everything is looking good. Let's come over here, make it active. Okay. Let's use the production URL. Let's copy the production URL. Go to the agent in any time and paste the URL over here. Save change, save change. So now we don't have to go again and again uh, trigger the test workflow. Let's go to the widget. Let's use this widget over here. Let's copy it. Let's paste it and run. So now we are running outside of 11 labs. Let's start it. Are uh, you again? Yes. Let's do one thing. Tell me how does my calendar look like for tomorrow? Your calendar for tomorrow includes a meeting with Mosni and Om from 11 in the morning to noon. Would you like to add, remove or modify anything else, sir? Yeah, do one thing. Add one more meeting at 5 p.m. tomorrow with Om. The meeting with Om at 5 in the evening has been successfully scheduled. Can I assist you with anything else, sir? Um, nope, nothing. I think you are doing a great job. So I think you can leave. Bye-bye, take care. Yeah, so as you can see, I have not end this call. This call has been automatically ended. This it was just a demo video so this is just a very small information which i'm sharing over here the my purpose of this video to make this, this video is to tell you what all things are now possible so it's now your time to just use this kind of a tool explore around with it what things can be done uh, what automation you can create and everything if you get stuck you can just always contact me in the linkedin so i think i hope you might have liked the video if there is any feedback suggestion just let me know in the comment Subscribe to the channel, share it with the friend and we'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.